Look at the images of the children dying in Gaza right now. And this message that I'm going to give is for every Muslim. It's not for the media outlets. It's not for the non-Muslims. But the reason why we're in this mess is because of us Muslims. We're reactionary. When we see images like this, we get hyped up. We go to a protest. They are important. But my brothers and sisters, it is not enough. Wallahi, I need you to look at these images. And this might sound gruesome, but you have to internalize the images of these babies. When you look at your own baby at night, when you look at your own children, you have to see these faces. That is what is one ummah is all about. That's why it's about feeling the pain of the ummah. The reality is, my dear brothers and sisters, we are dissected. We are separated from our brothers and sisters in Gaza. We don't feel it. And what I learned from being in prison in Israel is that these people are organized while we Muslims are reactionary. Wallahi, every single one of you must understand Salahuddin al Ayyubi did not come out of nothing. 13 years of preparation, Allah says in the Quran, A'iddu, where is our preparations? Yet you see the Zionists, the lobbies, they control absolutely everything. Why? Because they work, because they sacrifice for their project. They believe in the straight of Israel, whilst we have Iman, but we don't believe. So my dear brothers and sisters, I'm talking to every single one of you. Do not be reactionary. Write something now. Stick it on your wall. Start thinking for 10 years ahead, because this is a long journey to my brothers and sisters, those of you, us who went to Gaza, who promised those people, who made a promise to them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we wouldn't let them down. The reality is we failed and we haven't done enough. We have to build projects. We have to build institutions. Every one of us has to have a project for the Ummah. How many of us? Allah blessed us to go to Gaza, to see those people, to look into their eyes. And then we went back home to our homes and we forgot about them. Brothers, the time is now to build your project because this, this oppression is not going to end in one day. This oppression is not going to end by you going to a protest. This oppression is going to end by us working.